As a software-based platform, Qsys offers several features and functionalities that can be unlocked with feature licenses, like the ability to deploy designs using a UCI or the scripting engine. So to do this, our QSC licensing manager needs to make an association between the core's hardware ID and your purchase license entitlement. Now there are two ways to make this happen. We highly recommend you use the online activation method, which requires that your core has access to the internet. Now if you can't use this method, go ahead and jump to the second half of this video to watch the offline activation method. But first, the online method. Start by navigating to your licensing manager. Navigate to your core's IP address in a standard web browser. You'll find your core's IP address on the core's front panel, from the status bar on a running design, or from the QSIS configurator. Under licensing activation, you should see a green dot that indicates you've connected to the QSE licensing server. If you can't get it connected, you'll need to use the offline activation method instead. Along with your purchase order of your feature license, you should have received an email with your new entitlement ID number. Think about an entitlement ID like a bucket or a basket, which might have any number of different unused entitlement license in it, just waiting to be activated. If you don't have this entitlement ID, contact the person in your organization who placed the order to get this information. You'll need to copy and paste this entitlement ID in the field appropriately named license string or entitlement ID, and then click activate. You'll see a list of all available licenses associated with that entitlement ID. Note that only the license that are applicable to your core model will be displayed as options, even if you have others available that are associated with your entitlement ID. Simply select the license you want to activate, and then click Install. This removes one quantity of those licenses from your entitlement, and then applies it to your core. Simply press the Back button, and you'll see your core's active licenses listed here on the main page. And you're done. If you just can't get your core connected to the internet, even for a little bit, then you'll need to use an internet-connected PC instead. The process is similar, but you'll need to access the QSC licensing portal and assign these licenses to your core before installing them. So, your first step is to go to the QSC licensing portal by going to licensing.qsc.com. Paste your entitlement ID here, and then select Sign In. Now here you'll see a list of available licenses associated with your entitlement ID. Select the licenses you want and then click Activate. The next page will ask you for your core's locking ID. To get this number, you'll need to enter your core's IP address into a standard web browser. Again, you can find this on the front panel, status bar, or configurator. This takes you to the core's licensing manager, and you'll find the core's locking ID in this section on the right. Copy it, and then enter it into the appropriate field in the online licensing portal. Now, obviously, this is easiest when you're able to use a single PC. But you could use a tablet or phone that's not connected to your core. You'll just need to type in this locking ID manually, so be very careful to get it right. Next, specify the email address that will be associated with this activation, and then click Activate. An email will be delivered to that address that contains the activation license file as an attachment, which should look something like this. Save this file and then return to the QSYS Core Licensing Manager. Instead of entering any information here, you're going to select Upload License File, and then browse to the location of your file and select it. At this point, you should see a list of all of the new licenses, and your core is ready to roll. If you have any questions or problems, go to the QSC self-help portal for some quick answers. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.